King News, my lovely, wonderful people. Tinubu has been called upon to ensure he puts his minister in order. You threaten to sue UN? You put Nigeria in more bad light than you can imagine. As diplomat on, uh, you know, Kennedy speaks on what um, uh, Uju has done. She has, you know, we presented you with a video yesterday. If you have not seen it, please go on Apple Line Media on their videos and see for yourself where he made it known to everyone that, you know, uh, UN has been using Nigeria to solicit for funds and that those funds they must give us an account okay what they use the where they got the money from how they spent it you know and uh, nigerians must be told everything yes so these are some of the things that have happened please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe click on the notification button so you can have all our latest news Tinubu needs to put his minister in order, threatening to sue UN, put Nigeria in bad light. Ex-diplomat on Kennedy comments. Former Deputy Special Representative of the United Nations Secretary General for Sal Samali, Baba Femi, says Uju Kennedy, the Minister of Women Affairs, should be more coordinated and put in order immediately by Tinubu. The US diplomats speak on Tuesday in reaction to the minister threat to see to sue the United Nations for allegedly mismanaging donors funds meant for Nigerians. The minister said if the global body does not furnish her ministry with the necessary record on or before November the 15th, she will take legal action. She had said, I stand here as the Minister of Women Affairs to demand from the UN the account of all the monies they sourced from donors in Nigeria's name. We want to see the account of what they did. If you don't give us this account, at least let Nigeria see what is going on. Then you, UN, apologize to them from 16th of October to November the 15th. If you don't get this report for Nigerians to see, we are heading to court. They have from 16th October to November the 8th, November, to ensure that they reveal these things or they will see what will follow. They will get our pre action letter that is to prepare, that will be prepared and ready by 15th. We are heading to court and I'm promising Nigerians that by 15th, you will hear the lawsuit number. Reacting, Badijo said, why it is very proper for the minister to ask for accountability and transparency, her approach can portray Nigeria in a bad light. There is too many things going on already. We must be careful. Why maintaining that the minister should have been appraised for the importance of diplomats and the functional immunity that the UN and officials enjoy? He said President Bola Metinobu needs to have his ministers coordinated, appropriately socialized into their respective duty not making ambiguous statements. Experience show that such UN officers are corrupt and some have accordingly been jailed. However, they are laid down arrangement for such requ requ requests by the sovereign nation, not following the laid down procedures and embarking on media ground stand can only portray Nigeria in a bad light. Nigeria is telling the world that it lacked the required leadership and structure for approach and operation in communities of the nation. The United Nations system is counterparts in Nigeria. Nigeria is the ministry and the women of ministry affair must be careful. After the after diploma diplomatic approach are, are reached, international organization have decided on the need to request for transparency from the UN. 
it is expected that he would take the case to the Federal Executive Council before articulating it before before articulating such with that weight of proportion to show to the media and to Nigerians. She must be careful. So uh, this woman and the daughter say, "Well, say me she did careful. Say if not, he go get a he go get a story that touch you." They said the 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 way she's taking or the approach she's taking, according to her brother, he said it's not the right approach. That she should have done it in a more uh, you know in a more decent way, you know in a more decent way rather than trying to prove that she's a, she's a capo. That what she has done now is tantamount to bring you know more. Uh, more bad light on Nigeria and that everybody is watching. Nigerian government must be careful how they go about this. Everybody should know exactly what is happening, you know, and everybody should understand that the position upon us and things that are going on, you know, Nigeria must be careful. Well, Oga, we want to understand what you are saying you know, because all this woman is requesting is transparency. She said Nigeria money you know, people have eaten it, UN, they've eaten it, and that they should come out clean and give us an account. Or well, you are saying she should not have done it the way she did it. I want to under I want to understand you, sir. How should she have done it? What are the approaches should she have taken? She's just simply asking for transparency. She's simply asking, you know, that uh, truth be revealed, that nobody, you know, should be taken unawares, that Nigerians' accounts should be made bare for all to see. So what could have been the approach that she should have taken? She came in and she found out that UN has been using Nigeria to solicit for fund, funds, and um, nobody has really asked UN for this account. They collect this money, people give them this money, say, oh, it's for Nigerians, it's for the less privileged, it's for those who have been, who has been, you know, displaced, uh, we need to gather money for them. People will bring money. People will su support. But at the end of the day, the money goes to some pockets. Okay? The money goes to some pockets. Right? So we like to understand what uh, this uh, man means by she is beating more than she can chew. So we need to understand it. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button. So you can get all our latest news. Remember, you have a voice. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day from us. It's bye for now.